Well, police in Orange shot and killed a man after they flushed him out of his van with a fire hose. Were the officer's actions justified? CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in Santa Ana with a decision and newly released video. Dave? Well, the answer to that question, Rick, is yes. The officer was uh, justified in the shooting, according to the findings of the district attorney's office. But that's only part of the story here in this building behind me. For the first time, the DA rolled out a new policy. They put it in place. Nothing is secret anymore. And when it comes to officer-involved shootings, whatever they legally can disclose, they're going to disclose it. And that's what they did today. This is police dash cam video. It shows Michael Perez sitting in his van moments before he was shot and killed by Orange police. The video was released as part of a new policy the district attorney has regarding officer-involved shootings. Moving forward, we plan to release video and audio evidence relating to officer-involved shootings and custodial death incidents as soon as it's legally permissible whenever possible. And for the next 45 minutes, Orange County District Attorney Tony Rakakis did just that. Brahim Betai, the assistant DA in charge of this investigation, explained almost frame by frame what happened. You can see his hand reaching towards the area where the knife is, and you can see Officer Gutierrez, that's the shot. A 10-minute video was shown. Some of it had already been seen on television. Other angles had not. At the same time, they're still trying to use the water hose to get him to get down on the ground. It was March 13th. Perez, with a long prison record and a warrant out for his arrest, was sitting in a van, threatening to light a gasoline can that was also found in the van. Orange police wanted to make certain there'd be no explosion, so they used a fire hose on him and eventually got him out of the van. That's when an officer yelled out, knife, knife. They fired a beanbag into him, and when that didn't stop him, one officer opened fire, one round, killing him. There were two knives recovered. He had two knives on him. Pictures of the two knives were shown, and his entire autopsy report was made public. And Officer Carlos Gutierrez, who fired the one shot, was cleared of any wrongdoing. We recognize the importance of the public being able to get this information as much as possible. But will his office be this open in cases where the evidence showed that the officers were in the wrong? Yes, of course. This was last February. Off-duty LAPD officer Kevin Ferguson fired his gun as a group of teenagers confronted him in his Anaheim neighborhood. The DA is currently studying that case, and Rakaka said when a conclusion is reached, they'll be just as open about it as they were today. And, of course, the obvious question to ask, and I asked it, when will that report be released? And the answer was, we're still working on it, and when it's time, everyone will know. Back to you in the studio.